Prince Harry, a member of the British royal family, has been facing significant challenges in his personal and public life, which have been well documented in the media. Recently, his friends have expressed shock and concern about his visible signs of being worn down amidst these difficulties, and the term Hell Week can aptly describe the overwhelming nature of these challenges. But what are the reasons behind Harry's depression? And why is this week called Hell Week? Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has experienced a significant amount of turmoil in recent years due to a combination of family and legal troubles. These challenges have taken a toll on his mental and emotional well-being, leading to visible signs of him struggling to cope with the pressure and stress. Prince Harry's strained relationship with the British royal family has been widely reported in the media. In January 2020, he and his wife, Meghan Markle, announced their decision to step back from their roles as senior members of the royal family and become financially independent. This decision, commonly referred to as Megxit, shocked the world and created a rift between Prince Harry and his family. This decision has brought about significant changes in his life, including adjusting to a new country, dealing with public scrutiny, and managing the complexities of family dynamics. The decision to step back from royal duties was not easy for Prince Harry. It is likely that he faced immense internal conflict and emotional distress while navigating this decision, which ultimately resulted in him stepping away from his family, friends, and the familiar royal lifestyle he had known since birth. Prince Harry's relationship with his family has been strained, with reports of tensions and disagreements within the royal family. The public airing of grievances, such as the explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made shocking revelations about their experiences within the royal family, may have caused further strain in his relationship with his family members, including his father, Prince Charles, and his brother, Prince William. Prince Harry has also faced legal challenges in recent years, particularly in his battles against British tabloids for invasion of privacy and defamation. His lawsuits against media outlets, including the Daily Mail and The Sun, have been highly publicized and have put him in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. These legal battles have likely added immense stress and pressure to an already challenging situation. Legal battles can be emotionally and mentally draining, as they require significant time, energy, and resources. The constant media attention and public scrutiny that accompany these legal challenges can further exacerbate the stress and pressure that Prince Harry has been facing. It's likely that these legal battles have taken a toll on his mental and emotional well-being, contributing to his visible signs of being worn down. Did you know that Prince Harry founded the Invictus Games, an international adaptive multi-sport event for wounded, injured, and sick military personnel and veterans? Prince Harry's friends have expressed concern about his well-being, noting that he appears worn down amidst these family and legal troubles. There have been reports of him looking tired, withdrawn, and emotionally drained in public appearances. He has also spoken openly about his struggles with mental health, including his experiences with anxiety and depression, which he has attributed in part to the loss of his mother, Princess Diana, at a young age. The constant media attention, public scrutiny, legal battles, and strained family dynamics can have a cumulative effect on an individual's mental and emotional well-being. It's understandable that Prince Harry may be struggling to cope with the immense pressures and challenges he has been facing. The signs of him falling apart amidst these troubles may include changes in his demeanor, behavior, and overall well-being, which may be visible to those around him. Despite the challenges he has been facing, Prince Harry has also taken steps to prioritize his mental health and well-being. He has been open about his experiences with therapy and counseling, as well as his commitment to raising awareness and reducing the stigma surrounding mental health issues. He has also spoken about the importance of self-care and seeking help when needed, which serves as a positive example for others facing similar challenges. Prince Harry has also taken actions to protect his privacy. It's crucial to recognize that Prince Harry, like anyone else, is human and susceptible to the impact of challenging circumstances on his mental and emotional health. The constant pressures and challenges he faces can contribute to exhaustion, anxiety, and other mental health issues. It is commendable that his friends are expressing concern for his well-being, as it is vital for individuals in the public eye to have support systems in place during difficult times. In conclusion, Prince Harry's recent legal and family troubles can be described as a hell week in his life as he faces intense challenges and pressures. How do you deal with anxiety and depression? What do you think are the best ways to get out of it and feel better? Do comment your opinions below.